Na se, e se edun ketia, e ne chema ufu swampo fu video ya nene nanti ya etrende. A e kotu usubye e tebi e. Nino, nini na elbe brow. Mamen kwa umano so. E, yora pe nefse na nepe mo ache. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning. What's it? Oh, Boko. Minim, I didn't see you at the stadium, but I know that if you follow uh, proceedings, you know how Congress is not going to be. If you put it together, what would you say? Oh, um, it was interesting. Um, a number of things were said and done. Uh, the coming weeks and months will be interesting. Um, I'm sure you are talking. Uh, you are talking about proceedings before the election itself. And in Okodo, in summer Opoya one before the D Day now You know. One of them, yet tape, Oba Abuano, um, uh, uh, General Secretary, uh, uh, Oba Abuano, back at the uh, NDC, couldn't do coalition. In fact, election time in five regions, so the baby now on IT machines, so what's the age man? Now, we break down. They couldn't gather anything. Now, of a swamp or, or a dictator. Um, I don't know. Some believe that it, it did play against chairman of a swamp of do you agree with that assertion? Yes, I agree. The the tip had a short term effect, but the long term effect is there. And with the the tip had come out to portray of some people as an inefficient leader. But, but, consequences for NDC moving forward is that what at the time they went to the election petition, ah, I said you get here, took the witness stand on oath he liked. Also, based on our coalition, our union, a Kufuado in your 50% plus one. Now, two years later, down the line, almost two years later, you are now admitting in that video, in that audio, that the time. At this, you went to court. They had collected results in five of the 16 regions. Whether at that time you committed perjury or not is a different thing. Two, in his tip. In Martin, after Martin, he was still describing the Supreme Court as neglecting logic. It's the same Supreme Court which gave NDC victory in the election petition. So if 2024 there is a similar situation. And the Supreme Court, for example, ruled against NDC. Will he accept the results? Well, um, what I explained uh, they had um, pink sheets, but electronically, they didn't know what problem. In fact, they also said that one court to go and challenge uh, pink, uh, as MPP war con. Now, once someone was a court, and it was about the fact that declaration that EC, Mami Jen Mensa, yeah, no, it was different declaration showing there. Back in the now, Crown, the Bureau Colo. And who there in the table, no, I said, you get here, 
explained why Mr. Chitra wanted to bring the EC chair, which the Supreme Court refused because in 2012, one of the grand rules that the Supreme Court put out that if you claim there will be a near 50% plus one hour, you bring your evidence. You, you, you place your evidence, you bring your evidence to the court. So in 2020, the Supreme Court expected the IDC to come to come with the basis for saying that Akufado do not get the 50% plus one. So when I said you that they are fair, his own narration, fair his own narration, only results for five regions of the common law that he Yeah. That he cannot go to court with results from five out of sixteen regions. I was on the tape. <laughs> yes. So the time NDC went to court, they didn't have the evidence. So cleverly, Kachu Raga went to court with the hope that the Supreme Court will agree. The EC chair number by evidence. Then he will ask the EC chair to bring them the results. Clearly, moving forward, I said you got your poster portrays it there. In the event that 2024 goes to court, they will not accept the results whatever. Because in 2012, that EC gave NDC victory at the court. They relied on evidence, not logic, as he's saying. So in the essay there, the Supreme Court disregarded logic and common sense. Uh, I think he spoke what the people wanted to hear. When the time comes, we'll see what he will do. But did you see this coming? In who the um, chairman of Oswampofo was going to lose? No, I didn't. And when he spoke to me, I said there, I was basing my assessment on the results of the women and the youth elections in Cape Coast five days earlier. Yeah. It was because for example, in the youth, a lot of leading members openly supported Roger Jinfi, yet he lost. So my assessment was that if in spite of such open endorsement, he lost her, then the mood of the delegates was that they were going to retain the officers who had moved them from 106 seats in 2016 to 137, and who had decreased Muhammad's loss of 1 million votes in 2016 to 500,000. Mm -hmm. Now, I think the Petia won based on even as at the weekend still insulted the Supreme Court that they defied logic, they defied common sense. When NBC went to court in 2012, the Supreme Court didn't use common sense. They didn't use logic. They used evidence, which the NBC did not have. So moving forward, and on the basis of this regard for Supreme Court, what will he do in the event that 2024, the NDC does not have evidence and the Supreme Court rules against NDC? Will he tell NDC not to accept the Supreme Court ruling? Because that is the mood 
for which he won't convince you. And that is what MPP um, executives are saying there. What to Amana? What are the main elections? And especially with the tape, what about one? But if you um, end this in the post and so delegates in the post and um, it looks like they bought into um, the, the, uh, what the tape was saying that um, Chairman of Oswampofu was weak. Uh, some of them were saying that even in, in times where they needed him, election time where he has to go around Nazi, not one who may be even in parliament where they were voting for a speaker, he was nowhere to be found. Uh, I don't know. You see, I said to Ketia has set a dangerous trap for himself and the NDC. Think so? Yes. If in 2012 the Supreme Court ruled for NBC to be in power based on evidence, 2012 the Supreme Court ruled for the MPP based on evidence you did not have. And two years after, you are still saying that the Supreme Court disregards common sense and logic. Since when the Supreme Court rulings come to be based on common sense and logic, it is the evidence you have. And your own tape indicts you that you did, at the time you went to Supreme Court, you had only resolved from five or 16 regions. He's, he look, it looks like he's taking the NDC down a path of in the event that the case goes to court, if NDC does not win, let the country bear. Well, um, yeah, let's assess uh, the other um, one we're winning, other, other uh, winners, general secretary, national organizer, vice chair, chairpersons, chairwoman and chairman, and I'm why there were two men, Azoka and then Abanga. And then um, looking at... Uh, General Secretary Fifi Kwete um, beating Elvis a free anchor, uh, and then the others. How do you assess him moving forward as a General Secretary for NDC? I think that uh, one of the things that helped Fifi was part of his campaign. You know that between NDC and NDP, for MPP, for example, most of the delegates are from Ashanti and Eastie. And for NDC, most of the delegates are from the Volta and Northern region. One of the bases for his campaign, which many of the delegates bought, was that he needed to be voted for so that there can be a representation Walter from the Volta region among the top executives. And I think that it was good for the NDC and the party. That was one of the reasons for his victory. Uh, Kote also speaks the language of Ashedi Ketia. And I hope that the NDC will not be lured into false complacency. Uh, that come 2024, in the event that there is a court case, the NDC will have to win by all means. Looking at um, national organizer position, Joseph Yamin, as in a compare Kofi Adams Akamba, Yamin will beat Akamba, who was seen to be like uh, he was out there. He organized um, walks, unity walks, after they lost the elections, Nazin Nara. Uh, delegates still voted against him and gave it to Yamin. Yes, I think that Yamin also spoke the last thing. The leadership of the NDC since 2020, some of them have put the NDC in denial that they lost the election. They still think that they won and the Supreme Court ruled against them. 
maybe in their somber moments, they will listen to the tape again and see that their leaders deceived them. Because if you don't, if you've not collected the event, the uh, result, how can you calculate and say that I did Akufado didn't get fifty percent plus one? Without the results, how can you know that somebody didn't win? So on sober reflection, yes, they've elected I said in Ketia, but they will see and admit to themselves that they were deceived going to the next uh, Supreme Court. They were totally deceived. I get your point from there. Um, my friend community, I'm, I'm sure we'll have a lot to talk about. But finally, Ibirika there, it looks like um, NDC voted for one why a wild kaka as against MPP voting for people who are a bit calmer. And elections um, 2024, I, I don't know how that will play out. There are. Election is not about be wild. Election is about winning. And this country called Ghana is bigger than NDC and MPP. So I hope that people will take notes. <laughs> Um, as time goes on, you're busy come out because now, but I know what to be when I'm sure after a while we'll know exactly what they're bringing on board, uh, to change uh, NDC's fortunes. That's what they're saying, uh, 2024. Yeah, that's super papa, uh, Uncle Benefson or a poster on the attaining canoe. Uh, results never buy on my M. Maubi now, eh, eh, who dear call Yankasa, eh, a year, stadium. That no memory, that in fact, results never buy no pa. And up a con and a declaration by it. Now, my name baby, I said, I'm kind of former chairman who copy it. And, and also the posture of a seed in Katia after the declaration was done and then swearing in, no, me will say, I see a dunk at your dinner team. Then, what I saw during MPP Congress, no, me will say, Chairman, ah, MPP to Abama, no, no, as in they were all in line, Chairman, ye. Vice for uh, uh, general secretary, uh, deputy for organizer, deputy.